Welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. We began, we lost our memories. We burnt down the flesh wall after going through the uh, archives and a few other places to get materials, being chased by a invisible entity. And now we're here. At the moment, I got a few cuts of bruises, nothing worth healing, and I got a slight headache. I also got a hollow needle, which... Yeah. I also got a lantern. I got a crouch. You know how it works. And we got a lean. Let's do this. Escape artist, escape the. <laughs> oh, I escaped. After I died. This place actually seems kind of nuts. Okay. That actually got intense. The music here and all that is very soothing. Ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Oh, it's not working. Alright. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Why is the music cutting out like that? Machine room's locked. We've got to find a key. Oh, well, let's start up here then. How weird. Music, I don't know why that's happening. You tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. Nothing. 
anything. No. How much oil do I have? Okay. Shouldn't use my lantern. It's fine, I'm in the light, see brain. There, we got a little light. We can see a little bit outside. Light I regard the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Jonah Ware. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inex inexplicable as the Heliodormus described it in Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was as it was told about. An underground mythic temple crowned with unearthly artifact. The crown, the orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt investigating one of the antique trials when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these agnomatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also been my, become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless was yeah, relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine, where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continue my escape. I heard the cry of pain echo through the valley. I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were wa washed away before my eyes. I kept running through bleak surroundings. The trees had turned to charcoal, black and black with leaves of cinder, and the ground covered with murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles across the Alps to a grassy field outside Geno. The guardian, the guardian had taken the orb from me, but I still until this day I fear return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I hear in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realize I owe you the truth of my visit to Alst. Your friend and mentor, Henrik. Ah, so Henrik did go there. Cause remember, apparently Henrik did go to the uh, village, and then he kept telling everyone he did not. Does that mean it's here?
Just in case. All right. Ooh, animal experiment. Canis lupus famil familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger the endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine where, exactly where, and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems the only human beings are able to that it, it seems only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. I'm just gonna put this here. Let's see what you have to offer. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. after but it's not worth it at that point no that must be him oh hello 1658 january 9th further disappointment the antiquary antiquarians antiquarians latest findings yielded nothing i st i'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life in its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on these subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interests, I must attempt to fill the vo that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice, as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. And as we all know, It did not. I blocked this door for nothing. like that uh find another way around the rubble to this in the study window panes are held together only by weak wooden frames. Do you think this... No? Okay. 
It's fine. Pull yourself together, man. It's just a little darkness. I think there's not, no, uh, there's not much I can do here at the moment. Hmm. Back to the calming area. Let's see what the guest rooms hold, shall we? Stole his journal. Okay. Nothing. Second of July, eighteen thirty nine. Mm. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah. One of the men traveling with us returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. So, so far we can tell the main character has a conscious and a heart. While the man who brought us here does not. He's looking for something in people, willing to kill them while trying to find it. Mine. Crowbar. Third of July, Ooh. 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? A question. What are they indeed? Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. 
They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Uh-huh, sure. Mmm, no, there's no use lighting it. This room's really bright. So far, this room is all story. Oh, wait, wrong button. The lock is broken. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. Oh. July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Indeed. It's here. Door's gone. It's now that officially the monster is now in play. And his goal is you. Sir William Smith has been marked. There is no way for him now to know that the young man from the other day has such a terrible shadow. How's my brain feeling? Slight headache. You know, let's splash a bit. Yay! down here. Storage. Maybe what I'm looking for is in storage. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only witch blah blah blah. An important key is hidden in the guest room. Never mind, back to the guest room. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for the etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all across Europe have been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. So 
So there is an important key in the guest room. I jumped the gun and left. Oh. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. inside. I have to activate the elevator, the lift somehow. Careful there, game. You're starting to feel like a machine for pigs. July 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger which so many royal regalia holds to this day. Hmm. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. I hate to say it, you might be a little responsible for that man's death. I knew it. Give me. It's alright. Light, man. Light. We're good. Look at the light. Pretty light. Look at light. Be one with light. Down in the hell we go. I always shut the door behind me. If that thing comes, at least has to break the door down. It gives me some chance. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, 
I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Machine equipment memo. Note there are two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Sounds like I'm gonna be going around trying to get more rods. Seventeenth of July, eighteen thirty nine. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. more work for it to run. Cog wheels. Oh, you mean the joint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing I lit all the lanterns in here. this place are very uncomfortable. All right, where did I throw that one cog wheel? more work before uh, what's oh I need something in the burner too big no too big
Oh, thank you. That's actually very helpful. Oh. More coal for the fire. More coal. Sorry for not talking much. I'm trying to listen and stuff for it. Burners active, cogs are in. Let's go. The machinery needs more work. This area, okay. What do we have? Uh... Are you not happy? No, you're happy, you're burning. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving. You leave the, this, that's moving, and that goes all the way up there. Oh, that's the box. No. Is about this. There are two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure only two, but the only the discarded ones are found. So two are in storage. One more. Okay. Man, I'm using a lot of tinder. But at least this room and this entire area is well lit. Sandy should behave for the most part. Is this the, the coal room? Yeah, I think this is just the coal room. I will not use it until I come back here again. I do not need to refill my lantern. At this very moment. Does this count as a storage room? I do not think so, for it has no piston. Whatever. Do we have any notes about the pressure? No. Damn. Okay. Um. How about... Three... Five... Six... One... Two... Four. Yeah. Uh, 
Let me see if my random tinkering with that work. I'm going to say no. Things I'm missing. But what? Well, I gotta get the storage rooms and all that. Get the pistons or whatever. So maybe they'll have a note on the elevator there. Everything I believe that I need is lit up. I don't understand that. And I'm not seeing anything over there. Sir William Smith had been marked. Oh, wait, yeah, no. Already read that. Old news. Maybe look around, there might be a clue with the pressure. Not seeing anything. Also, what's my mind at? Good. All right, let's see what we got. Find another way around the rubble in the study and find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. In other words, the study. What the? Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Splash. Alright. And this, I haven't gone this way yet. Storage. Kind of important. A heavy panting train is best to keep yourself from screaming, overturn, reaches through the broken glass, and grabbed all the sedatives you could find. Mm hmm. Darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Yeah. Cavens hindering, find another way through. Okay. I wonder. No. Gotta be careful, Lantern. Alright, give 
me that. If I know, if I'm remembering correctly, you do not want to be caught in the darkness here. Broken, broken hand drill. Can I combine those? No. Basically following the kids crying. Oh. Regarding an explosive mixture, Alexandra prepared the explosive you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brained servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquid. Uh, liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separate to avoid further mishaps. I've arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. rusted shut wait really oh I'll let you cuz I think I have to go at you anyways okay drill part some items can be combined can I ask some of the drill? You find all parts first. Okay. Okay, we need all the parts. Got it. All right, there's nothing else in here for me. Another one. Light it. Mystery pot. We're making an explosive. Okay. 
There we go. go and now we got an explosive are we fine Fill anything. Yes. Well, it's better now. Why are you doing this? Get away from me. a very big room. that candle soon. I better enjoy it while it lasts.
him. Why does it let me touch me? It touch it. Head is pounding. Hands are shaking. Case of missing rod. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case of elevator breaks down again. Unless it's absolutely necessary, always have spare rods in storage. Basically out. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh, I gotta adjust my seatings. Okay. I'm in the light. See light. Pretty light. Here we got five tinder boxes. Tinder boxes, we're gonna call them. In case you're wondering, running is not an option. Running is a very bad idea. The thing about running is it does and makes a lot of noise. And on top of that, the creature is faster than All I can do is crouch, hope it doesn't find me. Right now I'm doing good with Sandy. I'm trying my best to keep my Sandy up. Ah, stretch. All right. <laughs> Some bruises. Don't use that yet. I gotta move. Can't stay here forever.
Hmm. Storage room's done. I have six tinder boxes, which isn't bad. Back in Algiers, gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Who's this person? And why are they in my pool of water? My splishy splash. I keep thinking the water does something good every time you do that. It Ooh, wait. It doesn't. I'll take that. I'm not using that oil yet, because remember, there's oil in the machine room. If I remember correctly, the study is not that dark. I think after I do the study, I'll call it. Yeah, I'll probably call it for now. Hmm. Right. Let's just do this. Anything? No. Damn. You know, maybe I will use that. Emergency use only. We got piston or fade. Pistons. Hey, hey, I'm in life. He's not looking too good. Another way around. The only room that's connected to this one is the one next door, but I don't see any other room in there. Or pathway. Oh, 
Oh, he has a normal face again. You have to forgive me, I am a little tired after all. Hmm. All right. I don't know. All right. Last ditch hope for this box. tendrils are going to the trees too. Huh? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. Where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I've gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered the gate. Okay, okay. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up eight, down eight. Make sure the flow is set according to the flowing the following chart. Trinity steam set functions for phase. Right. Will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Quickly and away. Oh, settle down, man. All right, I go back outside. If it comes, where am I hiding?
Nope. Just go. Just go. Alright, part of me wants to call it now. No. You're corrupting this beautiful sanctum. Fleshy pods are blocking everything. Oh, there's no going back now. In the water. My beautiful water. I guess the beauty of this place couldn't have lasted. Go. Up eight, down eight. So no matter what, I have to have the number eight. Okay. We have the rods. Alright, this is a start. Up eight, down eight. So let's start with a one, three, and five, five, seven, eight. All right, let's try and get eight for one side. So middle. Middle, 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 and middle. I'm just doing this. I'm doing a, a simple reset. There we go. Okay. So if I want to do this, five, one, five, you cannot do that. So it has to be one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means it is one, two, three. Damn it. No, it's nine. Okay, so we cannot have that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Everyone back to the middle. Or oh, actually, here, let's start here. We're starting with three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Seven, eight. So that means you're six. Okay, just take it away from me in math. Fine. Done in there. Screw you. Trinity Steam set functions. Four phase. Okay, so Trinity four complete. Trinity four phase and complete. Is that not right? Trinity. Four phase and complete. I mean, maybe that's what the noise is. Uh, 
that's not right then. Just in case, uh... Notes. Trinity Steam Sent Functions. Well, let's do Trinity for Triangle. Four phase. Oh. Angles. The sides. Trinity for angle. And just a flow. I thought I meant order. Pull the lever, crunk. down into the depths of hell oh jeez that's an aggressive closing of the doors all right elevator still going down by the sound of it Was like pushing a star in the night. Descendant taking the rock ride, an elevator, and amnesia. Nice, new achievement. Oof. I have no idea where we are. I can tell you we're not coming back that way. I know these episodes have been short. I am tired and we're getting there. So I'm going to call it here and well, I will see you next time. Bye.